Good morning, Knights. I'm Jared Thomas. And I'm Sarah Blanco. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Rome Report, Report News. News. Football has been gaining a lot of the spotlight this year, but we have a lot more teams on campus that deserve some recognition. Here's a short montage of the LHHS volleyball team so far this season. Being a student athlete sounds very challenging. With all the classes and tests that a normal student has to take on top of practices and games, it has to be tough. Hello, Knights. I'm Jared Thomas, and welcome back to another edition of J Rad Sports Vlogs. A lot happened over the weekend in the world of sports, including the Golden Shovel football game. The Knights went out and had a strong finish, winning the game 38 to 19. This is the sixth, sixth consecutive year that we have won the Golden Shovel in eight out of the last nine. We hope to keep this streak up when we verse River Valley this weekend on September 8th at home. On this edition, however, we're going to take a different spin of things. Today, I will be talking to you about how to be a successful student athlete. Being a student athlete, they are a special breed of people. They have to juggle both school and tests with practices and games any given week. Whether it's baseball, football, wrestling, or track and field, every single team here is made up of student athletes. This can affect a team. If a student is ineligible due to grades, they will not be able to practice or to play in that week's games. Every single team is affected by ineligibility. It can be due to team morale, team leadership, or just the team's overall performance. Our new athletic director, Brady Kruger, gave the following statement. Make sure you find a sport that you like. Get out there and take advantage of these next, of these next four years. We remember that our students come first and that this is a part of the reward. Sports is a privilege. It's also good to hear encouragement from our upperclassmen athletes, like junior Cole Wade, who was the starting quarterback for the Golden Shovel football game and is an LHHS varsity basketball player. He issued the following statement. Always make sure you keep track of your grades. You want to be the one on the field or the court, not the one wanting or wishing that you were out there playing. We hope to see a lot of success from our teams this year, and we hope to see a lot of student athletes become great this year. I'm Jared Thomas, and I hope to catch you on game day. With homecoming coming up in a few weeks, a lot of students are already preparing for the dance. But what does the term homecoming come from, and what does it mean? I don't know. Maybe we can learn a little bit more about homecoming before going. Hey everyone, I'm Rhiannon Westlake, and as you all know, homecoming is approaching quickly. But what is homecoming, and why do we celebrate it? By multiple historical accounts, Southwestern held the first homecoming celebration on April 21st, 1909 in San Gabriel Park. And at Northern Illinois University, they have one of the longest celebrated homecoming traditions in the country. The alumni football game played on October 10th, 1903, starting their homecoming tradition. But homecoming, as we know it, is a formal dance event for high schoolers at their school to come together and have fun and dance their hearts out. Ours will occur on September 23rd from 8 to midnight. Tickets will be $35, so buy yours soon. Also, besides the dancing, we crown a king and queen, which you can vote for. So ladies and gents, don't forget to dress to impress and rock the dance floor. Well, that's all we have for you today, Nance. I'm Sarah. And I'm Jared. Have a great day and an even better weekend.